So far, the best we can do is to say that the radius of the black hole candidates we see in the universe is at least approximately equal to their Schwarzschild radius. In some cases, that's just a rough estimate, but in others, we've calculated that radius to within 40 decimal places. As for the second question about dark energy, that's where things get really heated. In early 2023, an analysis led by physicists at the University of Hawaii found that astronomical observations of massive black holes showed them to be growing in mass over time at exactly the same rate that dark energy would be expected to grow over time due to the expansion of the universe. They came to the inevitable conclusion that black holes must be made of dark energy and that they are really more like gravistars than ordinary black holes with infinite density singularities at their centers. This conclusion was fiercely contested. Astronomers came out arguing that the analysis of the observational data wasn't quite right, and theoretical physicists came out arguing that the expansion of the universe should have nothing to do with the growth of black holes in any case. So while the idea that dark energy could exist in the form of gravistars sounds exciting, it looks like the scientific community isn't going to be convinced unless it's simultaneously supported by better data and more compelling theoretical models. So while gravistars may exist, we are far from proving them. And they might look too much like black holes to be able to easily spot in the first place. But the next exotic object I'll explore today should be as recognizably distinct from a black hole as it's possible to get. <laughs> 